We've been here before. We've had dialogue. We, we need action. We need action from those who have the power to bring about change. New at five, an opportunity for change. The leader of the Sentinel Police Association hopes that these recent protests will stir more black men and women to apply to become police officers. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle explains the challenges that lie ahead with police departments and how they're looking to change the narrative. Well, you've undoubtedly heard the word change throughout the protests over the past week or so. The overall message is that we have to change laws. We need systemic policy changes immediately. Now we're hearing from the president of the Sentinel Police Association to find out how they can make that change a reality. Lewis Arnold knows the struggle. There's a history and there's a history that hasn't been addressed. Uh, things that were happening in the 1800s to black men are happening in 2020. He knows first the resentment in the black community to police and we have to change that. We have to change that narrative. Change comes within. We have to go into the community and we have to build positive relationships and begin to interact po positively. And then I think we'd get more um, more blacks uh, applying for for policemen on, in Cincinnati because it, it's needed badly. Arnold says the black community is underrepresented in the police department. 44% of the city's population is African American. At CPD, only 29% of officers are black. Arnold is now asking folks to take a stand for change. Either you have to get involved outside or you have to become a police officer and be involved inside. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine is laying out a plan for a state level board to regulate police and bolstering police training and bias education. Newtown and Westchester police leaders also say they're on board with improvements in those areas. At CPD, officers take bias and de-escalation courses. There needs to be a ton more of that training a ton more and then we need officers to be open for the train to be open to receive what's being taught. He also hopes African Americans will be part of the change by applying to become officers in downtown Jake Ryle WCPO 9 News.